Hey guys, this is Francis from Tech for Life, and today I've got a treat for you. I'm going to show you Handbrake on the Mac, which is a DVD burning software. It's pretty good. Now remember, there are copyright laws to every DVD. However, I don't really believe in these things. Personally, I think if you've bought the DVD and you own it, why not burn it and put it on your iPod? After all, you have paid the companies the money. So anyway, I just want to give you a quick overview of this program. Firstly, you've got as you, a set of navigation tools up the top. You've got sources, start, pause, add to queue, and you show your queue. And I'll show you those a little bit later when we start burning some DVDs. You've got the activity window. It just shows you a bit of information for you, you techs out, tech geeks out there. And then you've got these preset frame rates and picture quality sets like uh, I think the iPods 320 by 480. Yeah, you've got that. It's pretty good because it's all set by default. So anyway, this is how it usually works. Firstly, we've got the DVD in here. It's Mr. Bean's Holiday. And so we just go to Sources, and here we go. It's right there, and we just click Open. So what it's going to do now, it's going to scan that source, and it's going to break it up into its chapters. Now, pretty awesome little thing. The icon, actually, I think. It's quite ironic, because when you finish doing your DVD burning, it says put down your cocktail. Well, obviously, I don't drink cocktails, but I thought that was just a really funny joke they put in there, and the icon certainly is pretty funny. And so, really, what you've got here is you've got your videos, audios and subtitles, chapters and advances, most DVD burners would supply you with. Particularly, this audio and subtitles are very useful. For the iPods, um... It'd be really great because the iPod Touch actually supports that. You can go and go through chapters, or you can actually um, change the uh, what language is being spoken, and subtitles subtitles even work. So that's really good. And chapters is a really great thing too, because if you're watching um or you're burning a TV show, well, you'll know there's four episodes to each disc. But one problem I found is they're sometimes in one massive block and I have to go through and break it up into its perspective um, certain episodes but with this it breaks it down into chapters so I can just burn chapters 1 and then chapters 2 and chapters 3 and I do that by just adding each one to the queue and changing the name at the same time so if you press on show queue it will show you all your um, uh, well the queue you have for it to be burnt so firstly you see here it's already loaded and once again it shows you the title, time it takes, how many chapters and it also has a destination as you would expect where you want to burn it to and that's really good because some programs start burning straight away that's really annoying and then you can just browse through and find where you want to burn it to uh, I personally like burning it to the desktop because after it's put on the desktop, I can move it around really easily, and I can see it. Uh, another great thing is you can just change the formats around. You know, AVI, Microsoft Format. Wish Max could play that. They can't. You need a plug-in. And once again, you've got these uh, features on the side. You can change the screen quality, resolution, and it's preset, so you don't have to muck around. I'll just leave it on normal, but, you know, iPod Touch. You can see it's quite different. T certainly down in the picture settings it, it's quite different but let's leave it on normal now you can also change as I showed you the picture settings you can go to picture settings here and change it and once again I was saying about the audio and subtitles you can change that chapters oh there's nothing much to change around here and advanced well I'm not much of a tech geek at doing advanced stuff so that's out for you guys there anyway it's pretty good all you have to do is you just press start and it will start encoding it for you. Now, I'm not really going to go into encoding it because I don't need to burn the DVD now. But, you know, it's really good. And then you can sh see it in your queue here. And it will tell you what's happening at that particular time. If you go down to the bottom, it would tell it tells you what's being done at that particular time, the percentage. And it's got this bar down here. So you can see how much is done. Anyway, that's a quick review or overview, really, of the handbrake the DVD burning software for Mac. 